everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm here with a new setup and really bad lighting uh, to do a review for you guys today. The end of November, I know, I'm really backlogged in reviews, but the end of November I read this book. Can you see this? Can you see that in the screen? Oh, not the best setup, is it? But anyway, so it's um, an Academy novel by C.L. Stone and this is the one in her Scarab series trilogy. I'm not quite sure how many is going to be in there, but this one is the second book in her Scarab series and it is called Liar. Now I will link down below the review that I did for the first book which is called Thief. Wait, is that the one? Yeah, the first one's called Thief. Third one's coming out sometime actually pretty soon I think and it's called Fake and I'm actually really excited to see what happens next in this book. But anyway, so this book picks up literally right where the first one left off. I mean, you could easily just call it one book and not notice a change at all. And this is the type of book that that introduces the reader to um, a relatively unknown type, um, I'd classify this more as new adult, but new adult, young adult, um, trope, I guess you could call it, of the reverse harem. So this is what really piques my interest in like that weird psychological type way. So you see, I mean, it's more socially acceptable, I guess we could say, for a guy to have like multiple girls, right? I mean, like every, um, every romantic comedy kind of, well, a lot of them anyways, kind of like Twelve into that until that one girl catches that one guy's eye. But anyway, it's more socially acceptable for guys to have multiple partners. Sad as it is, it's just kind of the way things stand right now. However, this book takes it and it does the reverse, hence the term reverse harem. So it's this one girl, her name is Kaylee. She has surrounded herself from the um, incidents of the first book with a multitude of very, very very attractive men who are slightly dangerous. Just slightly, you know, just to give it that bad boy edge. Um, but looking at the Goodreads, there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and I believe she actually has six guys kind of stringing along, and she has like slight relations with each of them. Meaning this book doesn't go past kissing, but actually this book kind of goes maybe a smidge farther than kissing, but yeah, like it's still very PG. Um, nothing actually happens, although body parts are talked about. So, mm hmm, there's a lot of innuendo, let's put it that way. But I find it fascinating that it's like this. You don't see a lot of books like this. And in fact, this is the only reader that I have read that has had the reverse harem as a part of their book. And it's interesting. The other Academy series that accompanies this one, the Scarab one, um, oh my gosh, I think it's called the Ghost Bird series. I've read the first one in it too, so expect, expect that review to come soon. But it also has the same idea um, of the reverse harem. So it's something that this author is doing and she's actually she's doing it very well, in my opinion. But enough about the reverse harem. As interesting as that is, I could really talk about that for quite a while if I let myself, especially um, pulling on stuff that I'm currently learning in my psychology course because it's really just psychologically fascinating as well um, that a girl does this, that anyone does this, but specifically that the girl in this book does this, but I'm Anyway, so as far as I know, these books aren't available in store to purchase. I believe they are solely an Amazon type book. I've gotten my copies from Kindle. I did buy them myself. I wasn't giving them for review or anything. Actually, that's a lie. The first book was for review, but I bought the other ones myself um, and they're only a couple dollars. So it's not a huge money investment and it's it takes a while to read, so it's not as if you're wasting your money either on something that's only like 150 pages. As long as the book was, I felt as though it could have been cut down just a little. Um, 
a lot did happen and I like the fact that it the pacing was really nice for how it did happen but then there were extra things and more so these were things that were actually more to do with the relationship of the main character and then each of the individual guys um it seemed as though and I know this this is also feeding into the reverse harem idea but it seemed as though a lot of it could have been excluded and not necessary but that is just my personal opinion. I know these books are really popular online and they're garnering a really big following from what I can tell. Something else that I really liked about this book is that there was a lot more being done than in the first book. This one you're dealing more you get to find out more about the Academy which I really liked. Um, I have started reading the um, affiliated series if you will and I've read the first book and there's a lot of secrecy shrouding the Academy so it was nice to find out a lot more about what's going on with it in this one. Um, you also get to see more of what they're doing and it builds, while it builds on the mystery of the Academy it also has this great mystery of this one specifically is dealing with the kidnapping of a little girl and then you have to find the little girl and what's going on what's the real story and what's the fake story and that's what really kept me reading with this book more so than the actual romantic relationships that the main character Kaylee was having with the multitude of guys. So there was this one character named Future who was fantastic. It was a transsexual male so Future is her woman's name um, but just the character was such an amazing addition. She brought this added sass and just like don't mess with me attitude and it was just fantastic. She was the type of character who really would kind of speak what's on your mind and like on her mind and on the reader's mind and you're just reading her and thinking like finally someone saying something. So all in all this book was, hi go away, this book was really great. Um, like I said I really can't wait to find out what happens in the third one because of course like the first book this one ends off in a bit of a cliffhanger because you really don't know what's going to happen next. As I'm wearing this this shirt, have you ever watched Veronica Mars? So you know how there's the see like the season umbrella mystery that goes through each episode and then there's like each episode deals with one mystery. So it's kind of like this book. So you're figuring out what the Academy is and that's one of the like umbrella-ing mysteries that's going on in this series. But you're also trying to figure out what happened to Kaylee's brother which is part of the cliffhanger from the first book and it's continuing into the second one. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that has remained unanswered that I really, really would like to know the answers to that is definitely going to make me buy the third one as soon as I see that it is out. So I would definitely say if you are up for a good mystery, action adventure type story that easily fits onto your electronic device that supports Kindles, um, I read mine on my iPad with the Kindle app. Um, and you want some some slight steamy romance with a multitude of pa of potential partners for the main character then this is definitely something that you should check out it could be right up your alley um, like I said it's had a lot of really positive feedback online it has a really good um, following that of the author and people are just obsessed with this series. They really really love it and for good reason too. It's really good. Um, so check it out definitely if you think it appeals to you. I I would definitely read it again that's for sure. I would want to start at the beginning again and then just like binge read so that there's no break in between because um, that is a killer part with the cliffhangers man I'm telling you. That is my review for Liar by C.L. Stone, an Academy novel, the second in the Scarab series or trilogy. I'm not actually sure if there's going to be more than three, uh, but there's definitely three for sure. Um, so yeah, let me know down below if it's something that you're interested in, if it's something that you've read, if you really liked it or not, and let's get the conversation flowing, shall we? So until next time guys, happy reading, and Sophie is a big pain in the ass, so I'm sure she'll make 
her debut in, in another video as well, right? Big bang. Happy reading, guys.